Hey -o, it's Eric here, and one of your assignments this week is to fix a broken link on Wikipedia. And this may seem like a little bit of a challenging assignment, but it's a quick, easy way to contribute. Um, links break all the time, addresses change, things disappear, and this is an easy way you can go in there and make Wikipedia more reliable, because anybody can do that, right? Anybody can contribute. So this is a very simple base level that I think everybody can do, and I'm going to walk you through how to do it in just a few minutes here. So first of all, here I am in the course schedule, and there's a couple of useful links here. You definitely should look at that repair or broken link thing, but specifically what I'm going to go to is this articles with dead external links. And this is a administrative category of Wikipedia. So if I open that up, I'll go there, and it basically they collect all of these different pages that happen to have dead links on them, and they categorize them by month. So you, you start seeing them back here in like March 2008. Definitely don't look at those old ones. Go all the way to the bottom, and this is the one you want because it's from this month. So these are the ones that are most likely to still have broken links, and you can see there's like a 1,000 pages, so there's plenty to choose from. So I go ahead and click on that, and you can just choose whatever looks good at you. So you can kind of pick a random letter and go for it. And you might not be able to do the first one. So, for instance, I've actually looked at a few of these. You can kind of tell by how it's colored darker. I, at first, I was like, oh, I'm going to fix something on the Amy Adams page. Um, but that didn't work out. Somebody else had already fixed the broken link. But what isn't fixed right now is I found one on this 1987 in poetry. So when I go to that page, uh, the first thing is, where is the broken link, right? You don't really see it right off. The easiest way to get to it is to search on the page. So I do Command F because I'm on a Mac. Um, you can do Control F if you're on Windows, and you can search for any text on the page. If you search for dead link, you see how it took me right directly to the, the dead link and highlighted it there? Real easy for me to spot. And now I do a little bit of detective work. Okay, so I know a few things here. It's a web page titled Dolman Press Collection, and it's at Wake Forest University website. Okay, so that's what I know. But this link, this is the one that it goes to, right? And it's actually broken. And when I hover over it, you can see at the very bottom of my browser there, it shows me the address it's going to. So it says collections.csr.wfu.edu. But the key here is it's on this wfu.edu. So I'm going to, this is some high-tech internet sleuthing right here. I'm going to find this page with no problem using Google um, advanced search operators. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to google.com. Um, if you've taken FSC here, hopefully you've learned the site operator. So I'm going to say site colon wfu.edu, and then I'm going to search for that Dolman Press collection. And you know what? This first result right there is exactly what I was looking for. Pretty easy to find things if you know how to frame a search correctly. So I, I just searched for results on wfu.edu. I searched for that. Here it is right here. And this is the piece of information that Wikipedia is using. It's, it's saying that the press shut down after Liam Miller's death. So I'm going to copy that new link. That's the new link. But it's always good to make sure that you're actually on the right page and that you found it correctly. So if you click this up arrow, that shows you where this external link is being used as a citation. And it says right here, you can see, seized operation after the death of Miller. All right, so now how do I fix it? Well, it's right there. This is the, the broken link, and I'm going to need to edit to fix it. So you just hit edit. Wikipedia, anybody can edit. Um, go ahead and hit edit. But first of all, you're not logged in. Okay, so I'm not logged in. Make sure to log in. We can't give you credit if you don't log in because we can't prove that it's you. We can't see that your user actually did that. So this is why we had everyone sign up for a username account and, and tell us what that was. So I'm going to sign in with my account and uh, then make this edit and it will show up in my contributions. So if I go and log in, um, this is my username. I use password management software so I can just pop in my Wikipedia password, hit log in, and now I'm in. And it'll say, hey, do you want to return to this page? Indeed I do. And here I am editing it. So um, <clears throat> this is the link down here. It may take a little while to, to find it and read it. I know there's a lot of uh, stuff going on here, but you just basically find that URL that was broken. This was that whole long one that didn't work right. I paste in the correct one. Down at the bottom, 
you can do a brief summary. So I'm going to say this is a minor edit. Fix broken link to wfu.edu. And then I'm going to save. And actually, I think I should have deleted the fact that it was a dead link. But, so edit that. All right, so I'm back in that place where it was used. Here it says that dead link thing. Just delete that and say, again, this is a minor edit, remove dead link warning. Hit save page. OK, and that was fixing a broken link link on Wikipedia. And now this page is a little bit more useful for everybody, a little bit more reliable. So really, um, I know I've told you that not everyone can edit every page, but everyone can contribute at this level. And you, you all should be able to go in there and fix a broken link. Um, and you're going to make Wikipedia a better place and a more useful thing. So that's part of what this class is all about.